G'day guys and welcome to the dock. It's Sunday fun day at the footy this weekend with $2 Mrs. Mac Pies. Thanks very much guys. And of course at halftime, a sing-along that all the fans can join in on and relive the good old footy days. Speaking of the good old days, early in the week the club was paid a visit by a cult figure that was an inaugural docker. And a high-flying one at that. I love watching Winston. And that's why. Still going is Abraham. Winston, go for goal. And he does. Yeah, the first year here was, was um, a pretty exciting time, you know, to be involved in in a new AFL club. Winston Abraham, sounds like a West Indian cricketer, doesn't he? And getting to know new people and, I mean, being involved in the AFL was exciting enough. Abraham, 50 metres out, Spears and Danowitz full forward, Groove! You know, playing the first game, I think that was one uh, an excitement at the MCG against Richmond. Abraham, onto his right boot, a snapshot, Groove again, and Marcus! It's there! Less than a kick in! There's the siren, Richmond have won it in a throw up. Lost by five points, <laughs> but um, yeah, some good memories. Over to Winston Abraham who races into goal. That is magnificent football. Three medals, Most courageous, Dale. Kick it. Uh, the best player at the time when I was here. I think um, Ben Allen was was probably probably one that stood out. You know, and even though he he had he had knees uh, that were terrible, but you know he, he played some really good games and looked up to him. But I, I like the way uh, Sonny plays, um, and now Brad and, and Stephen being nephews of mine, keen to see them play well, and Matt Fife and, and Rocky, and you know, there's some great players here, but I want to see that um, finals and you win a flag. I'm waiting to see the, the, um, the premiership. Um, it's been a long, hard road, but I can't wait for that to happen. And Winston will be at the game this weekend to kick the past player's first goal of the day. So if you want to see Winston kick a snag, and I'm sure he will, on Optus Stadium. Make sure you're there before the bounce. And just a reminder at half time at this weekend's game, we need your help to secure our final 10 songs for the club's sing along, which has been picked by all the players. All you need to do is head to the website and start voting for your favourite song. Friend of the Foundation Telethon Speech and Hearing Institute held their annual family day where 89 families had the chance to meet Fremantle players, but for Mark and Lisa Webb, the day held some more significance. Yeah, today we're here at the Telethon Speech and Hearing Institute uh, Family Day. Uh, it's great to see so many kids and their families here. Um, obviously, they go through a lot of work and um, some tough times, and it's yeah, it's a good initiative by Telethon Speech and Hearing to have this day, and good to see all the kids enjoying it. We have a strong partnership through Mark and Lisa Webb's son, Ollie. Three years ago, Ollie was diagnosed with uh, severe hearing loss at three days old. So we've been here for about three years now. And, uh, he's shown some great development since then. Just from, yeah, as I said, from day three, we've been here regularly. And to see the way from pretty much not being able to hear at all to being able to hear whispering and, you know, the sounds of everyday life that we often take for granted has just been a, a real yeah, joy to watch, to be honest. I'm Mark Fitzpatrick. I'm the CEO for Telethon Speech and Hearing. Telethon Speech and Hearing um, hope, helps a whole range of families with children who have a hearing impairment to learn how to speak, or kids with delays in their speech and language actually get to a point where they can actually um, go to a mainstream school. Today's a wonderful event for our families. I mean, having to support Mark and Lisa Webb and their son Ollie gives us um, a wonderful connection with the Dockers being able to then provide that to all the families and the kids to give them that little bit of uplift that's um, often so hard in terms of families with kids with special needs is, is something that we're really, really lucky to have. And to see so many kids running around here today and so much noise is actually really, really good for an organisation like ours. For me, it's very important to give back. Um, it's very rewarding as AFL footballers. We get stuck focusing about ourselves and about football a bit too much, but it's very rewarding to see um, families and kids who have troubles with hearing and speaking and just develop so much as kids so yeah, it's very rewarding for me and yeah, I love getting involved with this sort of stuff. Well the new stadium hasn't lost its appeal and their own personal insider treated our player sponsors to a special tour of the elite facility. <laughs>
Good evening. Uh, tonight we're here at our player sponsors' dinner at, at the new Opus Stadium. I'm standing in our change rooms with my player sponsor, Ernie Zentner of Zentner Shipping. Ernie, what do you make of the new stadium? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, really modern. It uh, rates with probably the best in the world, I'd say. And uh, you've been my player sponsor for 15 years now since I began at Fremantle. All those years that, ago? That long. If you can put that your mind long. back, why did you choose to sponsor a Fremantle player? Well, when the, when the sponsors, the player sponsorship came up, the idea was to sponsor a young player new to the state. And I remember you sitting at our table as a really green Victorian, homesick, and didn't say a word. And when the opportunity came to sponsor a player, automatically thought of David. Thank you. Uh, again, we're at our player sponsors dinner at the new Opera Stadium. Well, that's it for this week. Just a reminder that our $2 pies, thanks to Mrs. Max, and our halftime sing-along is going to be the Sunday fun day we're all looking forward to, and we can't wait to see you there.